hey guys you're welcome to my channel again please do well to like and subscribe to this page for amazing content okay good afternoon guys like i promised that i was going to send designs on one way slab and two way slab design okay so quickly i will take you through how to design manually a one way slab yeah so we have a plan like this this is a plan that we want to work with so this is a general arrangement we want to work with so we have slabs as shown now we know that for a two-way slab the aspect ratio ly over lx should be less than two why for one-way slab the aspect ratio should be greater than or equals to two all right that's fine with so for this particular slab we are going to have some details some some informations so we are going to assume a 150mm slab and then our finish is it's going to be 1.2 we're meeting per meter square then our partition let's make it 1.5 we're meeting per meter square so we have our life load also to be 1.5 into familiar square and FCU to be 20, 25. Let's let's make it a 25. And um, our FY to be 4 to be 250. Let's make it a 250. Now please note that when your fy is 250 newton per millimeter square you are working with a mild steel but when it's about 410 460 you're working with high heat bars okay so the first thing we have to do is to calculate your loadings determine your loadings to determine your loading so So for loading now you have your slab own weight, your slab weight. I will be giving the thickness to be 0 0.15 meter, and multiply by 24, which is the density of concrete. So that will give 3.6 kilonewton per meter square. That's correct. So we have for the finishes as given 1.2. Then we have for the partition. Has given 1.5 okay so the addition of the dead load because these three constitute the dead load on the slab is 6.3 kilonewton per meter square so we have as given also life load to be 1.5 kilonewton per meter square that's correct so to get the ultimate design load now as we know we have 1.4 GK plus 1.6 QK. So we have 1.4 multiplied by the GK 6.3 plus 1.6 multiplied by 1.5. So this one give 11.22 kilonewton per meter per meter run. You know this is supposed to give us kilonewton per meter square, but we design our slab per meter run. So that is why we have our unit that way. Okay, so let's go into the design properly so to obtain our effective depth d is obtained using h which is the total height minus cover then minus the diameter of internal reinforcement over two so we have our d to be 150 minus the cover 20 minus 12 diameter divided by two so what we have there is going to give us 124 mm so that is what we're going to be using as our effective depth for the design so with this value ultimate design load that we have now we can obtain our moment our moment can be obtained because the slab we want to design now let's design for panel panel one so for panel one And this panel one as shown here is a simply supported slab yes yeah, so that is to say that um, we are supporting this 
particular panel by this beam and this. So to, to do that, we use our moment formula for a simply supported section. So that is NL square, NL square over 8. And um, in section for that particular panel, we will have something like this. So 3 meters. We have 11.22 kN per meter square. So that is it in section. Okay, so for this one, we now have our moments to be 11.22 times 3 square all over 8. So that will give 12.62 kN meters. So from here, we can obtain our K, the value for our K. And the formula for K is M over FCU and B, B D square. And the value you obtain for this should be less than 0 0.156. Okay, that's fine. So from there, we can proceed, right? Okay, we'll proceed. We have our K to be 12.62 times 10 raised to the 6, which is the moment over FCU 25. Our B is 1000 now multiplied by T square. So this should give me 0 0.033, which is less than 0 0.156. That's correct. Okay, so for our Z, our Z value from our formula, we know that to obtain Z, we have 0 0.5 plus square root of 0 0.25 minus K over 0 0.9 all of it, um, multiplied by D. So this should be less than or equals to 0 0.95 D. Okay, so where we substitute our, the value for K into this expression, we have 0 0.033 over 0 0.9 uh, multiplied by D. So this will give us 0 0.96 D, which is greater than this. And it ought to be less than that. So what we do is that we adopt Z is equal to 0 0.95 D. So from here we can have our area of steel, which is the moment over is 0.95 fyz right okay so that's correct so we have 12.62 times 10 raised to the 6 over 0.95 multiplied by 250 multiplied by 0.95 times 124 so the area of steel now will give 451.1 millimeter square. Now to provide reinforcement, this is the area of steel required. Now, so to provide the reinforcement, we can easily use our formula, our popular, um, our common expression, or we we'll check through the table for providing reinforcement. So easily, you can just do one meter divided by the intended spacing. multiply by the area of intended reinforcement that is what i mean by intended reinforcement is what you want to use the type of reinforcement you want to use the size whether white 12 or hard 12 or y16 8 mm diameter 32 12 you know as you want okay so for this one let me use um a Y12, I want to use Y12 diameter bar and I want to maintain a 200 spacing. So let me see if that will be able to cater for our area of steel required. So I have 1000 divided by, I am using 200 spacing and the area of 12 mm reinforcement here is um, 113.1. So this will give me 565.5 mm square so that means this is greater than this so i can provide 
R 12 mm bars at 200 center to center. So the area of steel provided was a 565.5 mm square. Okay, so that is that for the main reinforcement. So for the distribution reinforcement now, we can provide area of steel, minimum area of steel. So which will give me 0.13% BH. So that is 0.13 over 100 multiplied by 1000 times 150. So area of steel will give 195 mm. So if you use this same formula, uh, this same expression to determine the steel you want to use, you want to get out. I'm going to show a slide of the, the steel sheet that we can actually provide this enforcement from. So if you need that, you can just drop a comment, then I will send it to you directly. So for this now, if I provide them um, 12 mm at 300 spacing, so I'll have 300 spacing and um, 113. So this is going to give me 377. So I can just provide R12 at 300 center to center. And so the area of steel provided will be 377. So that's, that's correct. Okay, so I'm just going to take you through the detailing on a separate, um, on a separate um, tutorial. So this is just a manual design of a simply supported slab. So in subsequent teaching, I'll be showing you how to go about the detailing and also for a two-way slab, I'm going to bring the manual calculation to you. Thank you for joining this um, tutorial. Please do make sure that you like this video and you subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. If you have um, questions as to this, you can drop to the comment section. I'm going to answer to you. And if you require the steel table, I'm going to send it to you directly. Thank you. Bye.